has got minor wear. Whoa, 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 whoa! All right. Oh, <laughs> oh golly. Anybody get dizzy yet? Someone has. Oh, uh, figure out if I was the idiot or that's it. <laughs> we win. That was a lot of fun. That one. Let's get in the car. The in the car. Is 79. The air my, is my ether. My ether lifter this year. <laughs> And uh, we're going up like completely raw on YouTube this year is the plan. So uh, if you've seen my YouTube videos where I've edited highlights, that takes too long. This year, just dumping the, the whole thing from probably right here onto YouTube. So say hi to YouTube. Hi, Mom. Hello to Scott Pruitt's wife and kids back at home. Oh, God. Come on, frame rate. Come back to me. So this is uh, Fundadora Park, I believe, and you know I'm not in, uh, an expert orator in Mexican history or anything, but this was a foundry, and they turned it into a uh, actual just park when the foundry closed, and they used like the giant old, you know, uh, streets and things that were like internally part of the park for the racetrack and also like bicycle like over here this is a bicycle path over here um and there's been rumors that real life indycar is going to um look into coming back here i don't know maybe maybe not but for now it's not indy cars because legally speaking it can't be so it's in the cars gotta love the sesame street building over there Somebody told me uh, that they tore that down, ready. and I'm sad. I'm sad about that. It will always live forever in my head. All right, so let's try not to screw it up into turn one, which I got to say, turn one is going to be the problem zone on this track because it's not just a hard break like you're you're trail breaking into that turn and it's uh the car is really off balance when you do it but let's take it easy we're starting seventh green 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 clear, the clear 2023 if the car season is green left side Whoop. Clear that's elio left. i think clear yeah left. don't want to run side. into elio Still there. Pretty wide. You're on the right. Clear left. We are all in a pack right here still. Pretty wide. You're on the right. This is quite a pack. Clear left. Got a low frame rate pack. Still there. Clear on the left. Oh, that was close. Pretty wide. We should not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Part of the problem with the fact that this track is so wide is that it's very inviting. Right? It's like, hey, go ahead. Stick it in there. Three, four, five wide. Still there. Why Clear not? Right. Three wide. Clear to the left. Far left. Clear left. All right, we've lost some Far spots. Left. Maybe losing another one. Three wide. Two left. Far left. Clear left. Okay, carrying some speed out of there. Car right. There. Uh, somebody got tangled up behind us, I think. Still there. Hold your line. Keep it steady. Clear right. There we go. All right, one lap in the books. All right, both keep it nice and smooth. Come on, let the race come to us. Be your yes, thank you, Jim. I, I right am totally side. new at how to race on your right. Right side. Clear whoa, right. Whoa, 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 whoa. We got hoppy, hoppy race cars. On your right. And we lost a spot because I got right. chicken. Clear to the chickened right. out. Car right. We are just all on top Keep of each other steady. here. Hold your line. Keep wide. You're in the middle. Clear. It's bad on my Clear part. On your left. 
Hold your line. Still there. On your left. Clear left. Yeah. All right. We're still holding P11. Just barely, though. I think we need to be more assertive with getting to the inside line. Uh, willpower has been shuffled back with us. On your left. Clear to the left. On your left. Three wide. You're on the right. Three wide. Two left. Clear left. The leader's just done it. Seventeen point one. All right, that was a bit bold, but we're we're back up to ninth. Can uh, Pino, he's going to be one of the new drivers in IndyCar this year. Um, I don't I don't have a good scouting report on him, but he was kind of bottling up the field there. Now we've got some space to breathe here. Not much, though. On your what? Hold your line. Clear left. Your rear brakes are getting pretty hot. Your front brakes are getting pretty hot. Thank you, Jim. That's going to be a thing all year, me and Chip. Just annoying the shit out of me. McLaughlin's off. That's a big name. Seen a successful touring car driver. Yeah, down in the Argentinian uh, touring car series. But when I went to like look up clips and... Uh, you know, when I'm making the talent files, I always start with uh, just history. Trying to compare them to whoever I can. And then I go onto YouTube and look for clips to find driving style and things like that. If I don't know them. Like, I mean, I don't need to do that for Joseph Newgarden. I know what he's like. But, um, so to that end, I, I couldn't find much. I mean, I found, like, clips of him winning a race where they're like, Andy wins the race. Or, you know, in or Spanish? Probably Spanish. Um, but, uh... You know, nothing, no, no, like, daring overtakes or anything that I can find. So I don't really know much about his driving style. So I guess we're going to have to wait and see. I tried to just kind of put him uh, middle back, because I felt like that, like, middle of the road, middle of the pack, but kind of towards the back. Just because I felt like that was, you know, even if he's the best driver in the world, it'll take a few races for him to uh, get his sea legs, as it were. Another thing I'll notice uh, from this mod, the 2022 version of the car, the, uh, it's called the IR22, from the IR18 mod, is that the tires really wear out quickly on this one, uh, comparatively. Like, I guess it's just the extra weight added to the from the aero screen, but the, the tire life, like, I used to be pretty good at managing the reds to last a full 30-minute uh, fuel stint. An automobilista, anyway. But um, here, they're going to fall off, which is good. That's realistic. But um, it's just something we've got to be aware of. Your brakes are hot. I don't need you to tell me that every time I touch the brakes. See, there's just certain things I wish I could just get out of GM. And I'm, there might be. There seemed like there were a lot of settings. And I tried to turn off as, as much, like, superfluous information as I could. Like, if I want to check my brake temps, I can just go over to this window and check them out. I don't need Jim. I needed a spotter for a set of cores, and I thought, well, I might as well just uh, use the same voices for the whole season. So, Alex, were you... Um, are you a big IndyCar fan?
just wondering if you remember, uh, if you ever saw any of the races from Fontana. Uh, it's cart, champ car, track. I was kind of refreshing my memory watching the 2001 race. Quite a, quite a crash fest, especially at the beginning. Or no, that was 2002, sorry, but still, kind of a crash fest. Oh, that's, that's the way to do it. You will be uh, highly entertained by my content this year because I'm expanding beyond just IndyCar. Um, more details on that as I figure out um, what the heck I'm doing. But I got a lot of mods sitting in my back pocket and I am eager to try them all out. I was actually just going to completely replace IndyCar on my uh, uh, calendar this year, but th this mod came out and I begged the modder you know, over the course of all of last year to throw the arrow screen on it. And finally he did. And I'm like, oh, well, now I gotta, now I gotta do more. I'm like, oh, dang, twist my arm. I'll, I'll play, in, I'll play in the cars again. <laughs> then I also, put some of my video editing skills, not many of them, but some of them, to uh, to work on that little bottom ticker on the streams. I don't know if it's too much, but I felt fancy doing it with where it you know, shows the schedule and everything, and I'll update that as the year goes on, too. Uh, just because, you know, 2000, January 2022 Nifty and January 2023 Nifty are uh, different people, and... 23 Nifty knows how to how to do video editing things a little bit. Hopefully it's just the right amount of entertaining down there. Wish I could make it like opaque, like see-through. Haven't figured that one out yet. So it's still just a big square. That's okay, you're not missing much. It doesn't cover that much. So we are sneaking up on Elio here for eighth place. Uh, we're going to have to consider how we want to try to make the pass. And keep in mind, the tires are going to start falling off. So pushing really hard. Probably not in the cards. I think on the first pit stop, we're on the reds right now. You can barely see the texture peeking out over the cockpit. But uh, so I think on the first pit stop, we'll switch over to the harder black compound and... Uh, worry less about tire life next time around and hope we don't you know lose too much speed this right here though this turn is the most complicated of the whole right circuit side. if you ask me I thought about Still I thought there. about making like a short right. about it on YouTube uh, kind of right. describing it because it it's fast and you're coming there's a little hill you crest a little hill right before turn one which already kind of puts your weight on the front tires. And then you're kind of trail braking into like fourth or third gear. As you're turning right, and it just really puts a lot of weight into the front left of the car. And the back end gets really light. If I'm going to screw up, it's going to be in turn one. Which, if you've watched my content last year, uh, you'll know that it's fairly likely that at some point I'll screw up. <laughs> so, look forward to that. And that last turn just feels like it goes on forever. Thanks, Jim. I couldn't read. Uh, cool, cool little trivia here is that uh, the voice, not Jim, but the other guy, Matt, 
is Empty Box on YouTube. He's one of my favorite YouTubers, and he has been for like 10 years. And uh, when I was playing around with what voices you can put onto this mod, I came across this one named Matt. And I'm like, okay, we'll give Matt a try. And I'm like, hang on, that sounds a lot like Empty Box. And I go and look in the credits for the, for the mod. And it's, holy crap, it's Empty Box. So we're going to have... We're gonna have empty box like kind of in our ear all year here <laughs> and that just tickles me Oof. come on frames don't be don't be shy Oh, uh, Starhopper did say it wasn't coming through too bad on the stream, so maybe you guys don't notice it, but I tried all sorts of different things to get the frames to kind of level out. I think it's just until this until this mod gets out of beta, we're going to be fighting for frames a little bit. the brakes a bit there. Just setting up for the pit stop whenever that happens. We are in hot pursuit of uh, Colton Herta. Hello and Erickson ahead of him. One thing I know is going to happen is uh, because you know we're racing, we're starting the 2023 uh, championship in January before a lot of things have been announced. So I know I'm going to look back on this video and all the liveries are going to be totally wrong. I know for a fact Polo isn't going to drive that NTT car this year, but I don't I don't know what else to put him in. So, oops, R1, I'll go down into neutral. One. That's bad. Nickname him Superfluous Jim. Fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth all in our line here. Might be able to nab our right seventh. Don't want to hit those. Clear right. The curbs in a couple of spots on the track are kind of like two stages where you've got the flat curb. You can ride that, and then you've got either a raised curb or like a tooth curb, and those are danger curbs. So oh, Erickson's trying to come back on me here. Keep it steady. Clear to the left. Fair enough. Fair play. My uh, turn in on that. Seen a bit of wet on your right front. Well, we are, you know, halfway through a stint, Jim. There should be a little bit of wear. But thank you for that uh, mandatory information about what happens to tires when you go race car racing. 
Maybe I should. Maybe I should be a little nicer to Jim. He's only trying. He's doing his best, okay? Okay, Bo, you've got half your fuel left. Right side. Like, I, I noticed Jim right. a lot on other streams. And he's, uh, usually I feel like he's distracting. And then people can turn on where, like, he swears and stuff. And it's like, I want him in my ear as little as possible. Wow, oh, see right there. That was that tooth curb there. Left side, clear left. I don't know what to call it, but it's like, they're like a bunch of miniature sausage curbs. Tires. 24 minutes? All I need is like 12. And then it'll be time for a pit stop. Okay, but that right front does not have 24 minutes in it. I'm just telling you. So we're back to where we started in P7 here. Talked about it already. But it's okay, they should last twenty four minutes according to you. Matt, I tried I tried going easier on Jim, can't do it. We'll probably just kinda settle into seventh and uh you know let the pit stop come to us we'll get the hard tires on and then we'll set sail for positions are definitely worn. Can confirm. It's not so much the fronts I'm noticing, it's the rears. Maybe I'm just mentally better at handling worn fronts, but the rears are getting real slippy on me. Closing in on Herta, though, I think. Like lap over lap, I think we're ooh, we're coming close. That was a bit of a power slide through that whole turn right there.
so just like last year, the target is kind of like making it to 30 minutes because then you can break the race into two pit stops. So we started with an hour and a half left. Right now there's an hour seven left. So we're just talking about worn tires for another seven minutes. Seen a bit of wet all round. Thanks, Jim. Sure are seeing some wear all around. Colton's kind of slow. Through that chicane anyway. I don't know if that's a permanent condition or... Or just a momentary thing. Find out next lap, I suppose. Okay. okay. All we got to do is make it six, seven minutes out of those ten. No worries, my dude. No worries. goes on in that building over there. Right here, he was slow last lap. Is he still slow? Eh, not as bad. But we might be able, especially on fresh tires, if we're still behind him, to, uh, if we get a good exit through that chicane, stick it in on him, on the uh, braking zone. Right, like carry the exit and get it the next break and so seventh position. I know. It's been like that for a while now, Jim. Car did not want to slow down there. Is that good? It's very abstract information. Starting to gap us again. Now that we're just kind of nursing tires. 
He's leading this thing, New Garden. Where's Dixon? That's a name suspiciously not up at the top. Sector two, yellow flag. Green flag in sector two. We think that we're bluffing and daily have spun off. McLaughlin again, huh? His name's been popping up, uh, McLaughlin, McLaughlin. Head tripping myself on how to say his name. It's been, uh, too long since there was a race car race. Whoa! Getting a little, a little bit sketchy now. One twenty zero. That's I know that's not great. Of course, I think everybody's fighting worn tires. Wah. As long as we keep catching it, okay, we can. We can keep doing that stuff all day. That's funny, Jim. Five minutes ago, you said I had ten minutes of fuel left. I, I could not have foreseen this change in circumstances. All right, there's one hour right there. So we are in the pit window. We're going to take another lap just to bank one because it doesn't feel like the tires are completely gone. And as Jim will tell you, we've still got like four minutes left on the fuel. So we'll take uh, one more tour of Fundadora here and then we'll come in. Oh, Herd is coming in. Yeah, I didn't say anything. Um, so I see they still do this where they're, they're kind of slow on their end lap. That works for me. I'll just kind of hold position, not spin out. Or maybe Herta just got through a turn badly because now he's taken off. Yeah, Herta must have just taken a particular turn poorly. And we have an Track early... Limits. Watch those lines. Look out for the pit speed limit. Okay, but expect traffic when you exit the pits. When we exit the pits, we'll be in P17. I need really to get my dudes back. They're easier to and hit place. than... Uh, What's he saying? Was he telling me where I'm going to come out? That's kind of cool. Good information, Jim. If you're saying I'm going to come out near McLaughlin, good information. Except for I think you were totally wrong, so... Your exit's clear. Watch the white line. Never mind. You were almost... helpful.
These tires are going to be stone cold right now, so I'm pushing too hard, but kind of depending on when the guys in front of us come in. Well, okay. Uh, you know, we'll be at least somewhat, some of the way up to temperature. Dixon is leading. I thought Dixon, I, I must have just missed his name when I was looking at the uh, standings. Pretty good. Neat trick. Come in in seventh, leave in fifth. Busy pit lane right now. Oh, but below is fast. Look at how he just caught right back up to us. He's on the reds. Left side. Clear yeah, okay. Left Heard side. it too. Still there. Still there. Clear on the left. Left side. Clear left. We're going to have to find some pace if we want to, you know, not sink backwards on the black tires here. Wow. Clear to the left. Okay, that's one way to pass. I don't know. I, we're still hanging with them. I don't quite know where they got that burst of pace. But I don't think we're too far off from them on the hard tires here. Newgarden's just setting fast laps here, though. Ooh, slide. Tires are pretty much up to temp, so we're deal dealing with what we're dealing with here. The guy behind has just done it on 17.0. Slow down, slow down, okay. That's the new fastest lap for McLaughlin on 16.9. McLaughlin's name is just all over this race. <laughs> A uh, new change for this year in my in my ND car series is that um, the points, not every position gets points. It's only the top 20 on normal race days and then the top 22 on uh, featured race days. I'm sure that bottom ticker there. It tries to explain that anyway. Awesome bot says you should throw us a follow. Throw us a follow. If you're watching on YouTube, throw us a like, a comment, all that good jazz. 
or bad jazz. Throw any kind of jazz, you got it. Me here, freeform, abstract, cool. That Snoopy Christmas stuff. You know, I'll take all the jazz. kind of think about this as this run on the black tires goes on because on our last stint are we going to want to do the safe thing go back to black tires or are we going to want to hop back on the reds and have probably a good 15 minutes of explosive speed and then just try to hang on to the car for the back half of that stint kind of depends how far off we get from Herta up there I think if they run away from us then go back to the blacks, but, or I mean, we'll go to the reds, but if we can, if we can catch them, especially towards the end of the stint, then we'll be playing the game in a good way there. Sector three is yellow. Is it McLaughlin? Good to see McLaughlin has stacked it. <laughs> I'm going to need to watch some replays, figure out what the heck happened to Scott today. Close to hitting that tire barrier there. It's not great. All right, we're hovering at about three seconds behind her. What was that? 17.9. Oh, well, 117's not bad. Yeah, exactly. It's about the fourth time I've heard Jim say he's crashed. It's a. Uh, but he did have the fastest lap of the race as well. So just, just absolute insanity from the mad lad today. Ooh, okay. Who's your favorite uh, Sesame Street character, and why is it uh, Cookie Monster? It's the, it's the question of the day. Only, only in Fundadora can you see. Uh, giant building painted like yeah, Sesame Street yeah. characters and right in front of it an inflatable Takati beer can. It's uh, just beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. Not even kidding. hit that elevated curb bit. That's treacherous. So let's just sail wide. Good job, Nippy. Now we're losing all sorts of time right now. The car stepped out on me. I feel a little betrayed by the by the black tires because they were supposed to last longer. I feel like we have the same fall off at a slower pace. 
Instead of looking forward at Herta, we're looking backwards at power right now. I mean, if they don't pay off in the last 10 minutes, we got to go back to the Reds. I just think that's a competition thing at this point. You can see I'm kind of like switching the wheel in spots, just trying to find more grip. That's something that I've only seen replicated for the uh, the IR18, if you will, and this Automobilista mod. I, the Assetto Corsa mod has a lot of grip to the point where it's a little on the easy side, and the iRacing car has you can't get it back kind of grip like if the car breaks loose there's no catching it there's no finding additional grip um and so i actually find that this this whole little game here simulates from to my eye the behavior of an indy car i'm sorry not an indy car of an ir18 best Because those like little micro movements, they actually do something here, productive. If I mean, if you time it right, time it wrong, you know, fly into a wall like that. I remember getting into a Reddit fight with somebody who was telling me that iRacing has the best physics hand down, and that the only reason. Uh, you know, you see drivers like Will Power and Pato Award flick the wheel uh, in real life is because they know what they're doing. And they could do it in iRacing too. And I all respect to iRacing for what it provides, but I don't think that's true. When you watch, um, when you watch the IndyCar drivers tackle the uh, IR18 on iRacing, it, it, didn't, they didn't drive it the same way. Six plus. And I think if uh, a real-life IndyCar driver were to toodle, one of, toodle out this mod and take it for a go, they might find some familiar ground on this. Just some thoughts. I mean, there are things that it doesn't simulate as well as the others, but for specifically that, for like the the ability to catch the car, the tire behavior. Now, I don't know. Maybe the R Factor Two um, DLC works even better, but you know, you need you need like a master's degree in um, R Factor Two to get it to work. Hey, it's uh, Scott McLaughlin, everybody. In our rearview mirror there. Yellow submarine. Try, uh, try not to get in his path of destruction. didn't help dipping the tire off there. So another thing about Automobilista is you can flat spot a tire and it actually has an effect on your car and you can feel it. Um, it's not just tire wear, it's you literally feel the like squared off part of your tire through the steering wheel and the, you know, the car will behave differently and it's uh, and it, and it wears out too, just because you flat spot your tire. We think Dixon has gone off. Oh, Dixon's off. Okay. Yeah. Next car is not Dixon. doing the blacks on the next stop. That's uh, silly. These tires are a bit silly.
Now we got power right up in the mirror there. Gonna try to hold him off. So yeah, we'll elect for the reds on the next stop, and we'll just we'll try to. I don't even want to say push it. We'll we'll just try to gently make time and not wear them out. It does help that Dixon had that off or whatever, and he's kind of in sight now. Kind of helps the motivation. I mean, on the whoops, wrong button. On the uh, on the chart here, the blacks are holding up better, but kind of feels like uh, when the when the black tires hit the orange patch on the on the little tire, that thing, on that little gauge. They are harder to handle than the red tires. And they're, oh, there goes McLaughlin again. Poor guy. This is not his day. Incredible, though. Scott McLaughlin and the terrible, horrible, no good, very bad race. Absolutely. I know you said that like 20 minutes ago, but it's still applicable when I'm just staring at it in the chat, so why not do a callback? That's what Scott figured. like my frame rate's getting worse, not better. It's my least favorite thing. We estimate about 31 more minutes on this set of tires. He said 31, right? Because that's insanity. Is that before they literally explode? That said, I'll tell you what, if we could go a little bit further, that just means we'll be on the reds less at the end of the stint, the end of the race, even. We're seeing a bit of wear on your right side tires. The car ahead is uh, Devlin Di Francesco, not for position. The car ahead of him is Scott Dixon, though, very much for position. Have we? P6. I was going to say, we're in P6 here. Have we been in P6 this whole time? Or did somebody fall off or pit or something? Oh no. Okay. 
that was a 118.2. Snuffleupagus is also a pretty cool Sesame Street character. IMO. I don't know. They probably got a hundred new characters that I'm not aware of since the last time I uh, the last time I watched Sesame Street was before this was a racetrack. They don't even use this racetrack anymore. So what do I know? But, Times are increasing. Come on, get back on it. Did you tell me my lap times are increasing? Get back on it. Or if they're decreasing, that that sentence makes sense. But if they're increasing, leave me alone. I'm doing the right things. Well, it's hard to hard to do the right things with uh, lap traffic ahead of you. I do kind of feel like the run's coming back to us a bit. Like, if Devlin wasn't here, I think we could get back to the rear wing of Dixon. So maybe we need to find a way around him quickly to take advantage of what the Blacks have offered. Maybe it's time for a handy-dandy push to pass. Well, not here it's not. Got to get a little closer, otherwise it's just a waste of the button. Or we can chuck it in here. Car right. Left. Clear right. Car left. Down right. Ouch! I was Clear okay, left. Will. That's that's annoying. On your left. Clear to the left. Left side. He hit me, right? Like, I feel bad of thrown off Will's day, but uh, you've got a bit of tire wear on all your tires. Yeah, I'm sure that that peel out didn't help. I don't race with damage. I don't race with damage on because the AI is so... Not only do they hit me and I take damage, but they don't really seem affected by it in the same way. Uh, but that said, this year, I mean, it's the first race of the year, I could do something where, like, I wait an extra 20 seconds in the pits or something to simulate repairing damage and just add some difficulty to myself. Anybody out there? Anybody? Anybody want to give that a try this year? Just kind of simulating damage? Because I did basically uh, kill Willpower's day. The thing is, is that if they hit me even a little bit. Like, if there's wheel-to-wheel -wheel contact, my suspension gets bent, and I can't drive the same, but they're, uh, they don't, 
notice that. They only notice it if a piece of the car literally falls off. A fair enough penalty? Okay. So we'll, like, count to 20 in the pits. Well, I've got a... There's actually a clock on this dash, so I'll just use that, but... We'll do that. Because, I mean, I did win the season last year. Or the championship, I guess. But, um... So, you know, I'm not... I'm looking to make it harder on myself. I don't... I like finishing second. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> if... If I win, that means it was too easy. Yeah, I get on the track. I do feel like that really wasn't my fault, though. Like, we had the position on Devlin, and I think he just turned in on us. Plus, he was a lap down, so screw all of that. But, um, it still happened. And Automobile List is the only game where I can't turn damage off of the AI um, in the same way that I have it off. In Assetto Corsa and iRacing, I can turn off damage for the AI. And then it's it's just kind of more fair all around, right? It didn't hurt me, it didn't hurt you. We're still going to push this set of blacks as far as it'll take us. Seems like everybody's kind of in a clump up there. Oh, well, they're probably slow because they're coming in for a pit stop. But it's just a thing they do. Automobilista is a great game, sometimes not a great game got to know its quirks. One of the quirks is that they're slow on their end lap. Whoa. It is just a lot of lapped traffic ahead of us, though. None of that's for position. Looks like we got Lundegaard in the high V car. McLaughlin, of course. <laughs> the only person who's... You know, I've been in one crash. He's been in about five. And then I think that's Pash now. 
So yeah, we'll go ahead and come in here. We'll take an extra 20 seconds once the crew's done. To uh, simulate some damage repair. Since uh, some bad luck found us. Ah, heck, just fill it all the way up. I don't know. I don't know why I'm negotiating for a gallon. It's stupid. I guess it thinks the pits are uh, should be in position 18 immediately behind okay. Armstrong. So we're going to wait till it says Ericsson. All right, we're going to take 20 from 131 on the number. I don't know if you can see that. So 151 is when we'll leave. Powers ahead of us now, so that seems fair. Now I do think we're going to get some positions back because. Um, Tracks clear. Push move on your one. I, I don't Far think one. the rest of the clear field one. has made the regular stop yet. So now, now we just got to go fast on the reds, and we've still got 10 push to pass in the bank. Get, get, get out right. of the way. Clear right. Not sure if he's pitting or if he's just, you know, on worn reds. Worn reds it is. track is exactly what we want to see right now. If we're going to make up time, that's how we're going to be doing it. AI still hasn't come in for their last stop. It's starting to worry me a touch. There's a good stop. Was that our fastest lap or the race's fastest lap? I could believe either. All right. So how much how much good stuff are we going to get from the pit cycle? I don't think we'll go all the way back up to seventh or wherever we were sixth, but. We'll see what happens. It can only put us further up the points. Harvey, he's entering the pits. He's in P9. He should be a little 
bit behind when he comes out. I think his uh, pit delta calculations are off in general. Uh, I think we'll come out well ahead of Harvey. I lots in. Okay, Bo, as a car exits in the pits, heads up. P14. Well, we're not as far ahead of Harvey as I thought we would be, but we are ahead of him. That's up to P10 for us. Ooh, don't hit that curb. Okay. Didn't get down into first like I should have been. Excuse me. We don't have to worry about lapped traffic for a while, so that's good too. Just put our head down and try to catch up to DK. that 20 second penalty that seemed fair enough set me back a few places put me behind the guy I hurt the most but it didn't completely ruin my race which is what having damage on does because again like they'll bump off you they don't care it doesn't affect them but it does affect you and that just kind of ruins it the other way you know what I mean where it's like oh okay they just run me over over the course of 90 minutes and I can't finish the race so maybe maybe this is the 2023 method of um, simulating damage at least an automobilista in the other sims P9. damage can just be off P9 okay I don't know how we gained a spot there but we sure did wasn't power who you've got to think is on a slightly different fuel strategy although judging by the fact that they made the last run last about 36 minutes or so i think power is going to be able to make the finish there in sixth nice recovery from him if he can pull it off Get on the road. I would really like to be catching Renus. Seems like we're just not losing time, but I'm a little scared to put the power down just that extra bit earlier, not only because of the tire wear, but just in general. I mean, you know, we're... Well, I guess maybe now is the uh, time to start 
banging out some bush to pass. Let's get it going down this straightaway here. We'll go through the kink and then we'll hit the button. sure how much that helped. See, like that. That little slide right there. Totally, totally a thing a real uh, IR-18 will do that I don't see the other games simulate at all. That was my fault, I clipped the grass. Jim got that one right. Blockland did come out in front of me. Okay, Bo, 15 minutes left. That's 15 minutes. There isn't exactly a long straightaway on this track. There's, there's two straightaways that are the longest straightaways, but you're only just barely dipping into sixth gear on them. The quickest right now. I'm quickest right now. That's actually helpful information. Thank you, Jim. McLaughlin this time. It looks like Dixon has been dead. Dixon again? Sector 3 is now clear. You know, with as quickly as it clears after he says it, I wonder if it's just any time anyone goes off track. Well, no, there's Scott Dixon's wing, so never mind. I was just wondering if in general, if it's just any time somebody goes, you know, outside the track boundary, in his opinion, if, if it says somebody's off. Was Dixon not ahead of us? Because weren't we P9 before that? Or is he still out? Is he not able to get into the pits?
There's a bit of traffic ahead of us, which is good. Hopefully we can kind of make an attack. I think only VK at the tail end of this choo-choo is for position. Oh, everyone else is uh, lapped. Somebody's in the pits. That's Dixon. Okay, so Dixon wasn't able to get into the pits last lap, so now we're up to P8. Thank you, Chip. Your brake temps look good. Oh, well. That's nice. Base there. Ten minutes left. He's seven now. Okay, Bo. Ten minutes to go. That's After ten minutes who else we lost? For the record, it's ten minutes to the white flag. here to guess that's how there's always that's how the incidents in the third sector are happening I would bet and uh, we're up to P6 These two, not for position, but willpower up the road is. But break temperatures are pretty high. The lesson we learned earlier was don't try to just throw it in on the lap to traffic. They will, they will murder you. Not a good turn. Catch. This is Rosenquist ahead of us. Yeah, I'll use it anyway. There's no reason to keep it in the tank, but I was hoping we could get a better jump out of the last turn on him. This seems on, familiar. Right. Still there. All right, you're lessons right. learned, and we got around lap traffic in that first big turn. I guess turn two. It's about to say turn one, but that king is turn one. I'm talking about it all day.
Scott is harassing Will, that might give us a chance to get in there and do something. Will, I do know he was about five minutes ahead of us pitting, so he, like I was saying, I think he can make it to the end on fuel, but he might have pretty worn, chewed up tires at, whoa, at this point, but so do we, I guess. That was a scary moment right there. Just keep it pointed in the right direction for five minutes. And heck, if we can get around power, if he makes a pit stop or if we um, can just muscle our way through, then we have a top five. Extra careful through that section right there. That was where I almost bend it last time. Probably about three laps left, I guess. Maybe four. It's the end of the race, Jim. Was, he was coming to the apex no matter where I was. I felt like I had an opportunity there, but I probably just wasted the push. Uh, while we're fighting for fifth, VK is sneaking into the picture behind us. All right, Bo, you've got 10 minutes of fuel remaining.
I know it's just the AI, but that car is really wide. Oops, wrong button. Pardon? You've just done a 19.4. Come on, let's get in there. Right side. He's still there. Clear to the right. All right, well, he's still there. He's... All right, clear All right. right. All right, P5, P5. That was a that was a tough one, which is good. I like feeling like I earned it. I don't know if uh, first place got across the line before the clock ran out. That's going to determine how many laps are left. We'll see if, he, if the clock ran out before whoever it was got to the line. This will be the white flag. If not, we'll do two. Surprised Jim didn't say anything about it being the last lap. I'll well, soak in all Fundadora has to offer here in Monterey, Mexico. One last tour. As uh, actually, Erickson might be in strike distance here, but uh, around the old Foundry grounds of Fundadora Park. the last lap of the first race of 2023. Wave goodbye to the Sesame Street gang. We're in the last push to pass. off the last turn we see fourth place ahead of us give me an extra 10 minutes maybe we could have done something but we're coming home and there's the finish good result mate well done e5 not bad for a first entry it's Pato award i'm sure that would make the uh mexican fans ecstatic to see Pato award come away with the win Sweet too busy stacking checks. Been too busy sizing BBs for my neck. Got it from struggle, but I knew that I was next. Tired it from struggle, but I knew that I was next. Yeah, yeah. Got mama palace, the whole family on a flex. Cause I had the Chevy, yeah, I knew I was a threat. Been on the lower, man, it came back as the gold. Playing games to you like Pennywise and flow. That summer party at the beach, I'm on a boat. She saw the icy ring and blessed me with the throat. Been going hard so long, ain't never going broke. Been going hard so long, ain't never going broke. Been left the house this week, too busy stacking checks. Too busy icing all these babies for my neck. Started from struggle, but I know that I was next. 